Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Coming at you with 2022 Topps Museum Collection Baseball 6-box half case. Pick your team 11. On a Sunday night, watching Sunday Night Football, Colts are holding strong, but some turnovers later. Now Dallas is all of a sudden 40, up 40 to 19. Six left. Six and a half left in the fourth. And they're, they're in the red zone threatening to score again. Big thanks to this group for uh, getting your team straight up. Terry looking for some Cal Ripping's got the Orioles and the Padres. Bought those two teams last before we pulled the remaining teams out for the random number block filler randomizer. And we did that in a separate video featuring these uh, 10 teams right here. Second half in the store right now. If you want to get in on it, jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll do a randomizer at the end for the uh, non-numbered cards. All right, fresh case here. And then, touchdown, Cowboys, Ezekiel Elliott going inside the Salvation Army bucket. Nice. I have to admit, I do like that celebration. You know? Draws attention to, the, to a worthy cause. So it's a half caser. We'll roll the die to see which side we're going to do. We'll go one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. Three. One, two, three, right side. So this side we will save for next time. This will be for break 12. So we'll mark those 12 right there so you know that they're from the same case. Gilo's wondering, is that a fine? Excessive celebration? It might be. It might be, but... Good luck, everybody. I do like the museum collection. It's a pretty fun product. So maybe it's not an excessive celebration thing when it involves... So if you want to do an excessive celebration, right, but you highlight a, a worthy charity, Do you think that's okay then? Yeah, I don't know, Rex. I have no idea what the point is in these excessive celebration fines. Like, you get an interception, and then the whole team, defense, can run to the end zone and be okay, but that's not excessive celebration. But when you celebrate a first down or something, in front of someone's face, then it's taunting and that's a personal foul. I don't know, maybe they've relaxed the rules on touchdown celebrations. Maybe that's not a fine anymore. I don't know, it's the NFL, Rex. The no fun league, NFL. Somehow the entire team running down to the end zone to celebrate an interception is not taunting but from one individual to another, it is taunting. Who knows? There's a Vlad Guerrero, senior to 99. So these are all the non-numbered base cards. If there's any part of that, that 10 team group, that'll be, that'll be a randomizer we'll do at the end of the video. All right, let's see what we got. 
Behind Bryson Stott is Triple Relic and Autograph, Tyler Glasnow. Tampa Bay Rays, that's for Matthew. Twenty five out of one fifty. All right. Got Raleigh Finger, seventy seven out of one twenty five. That's going to be for the A's, and the A's are a random number block team. So that'll go to Oakland 7. And that will be for Mark. There's Randy Arozarena, uh, 83 out of 99. Matthew with the Rays. Oh, does the MLB still still uh, fine you for a bat toss anymore? I, I don't know anymore. It's Joey Wendell, 16 out of 50. Also for Matthew and the Rays. And behind the, uh, sometimes we can find one of one sketch cards of these guys, but that's Byron Buxton. And we've got Barry Zito, 109 out of 125. Archival autograph for the A's. So that'll go to Oakland 9. And that'll be for Barry. Barry with Barry. It was meant to be. Yeah, maybe they stopped caring about it, Rex. I, I think officially the 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 especially I guess with maybe maybe they relaxed end zone celebration rules in the last year or two. But they still have taunting. Like if you get a first down and then you get in the face of someone and be like, first down, and you point a finger at him, the the flag will get pulled, you know, personal foul, fifteen yard penalty, blah 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 blah. But I mean, I don't know. I feel like that's okay. I think they don't want to... I, I think they don't want to... I think the reason behind that, though, is that they don't want individuals to kind of get into to fights, potentially, on the... But, I mean, guys are wearing helmets. No, one, no one's... It's a lot of hold me back. You know? It's not like someone's going to throw a punch to someone's helmet, helmeted head. Hmm, that's a thick card on the bottom there, what could that be? Wow. Strip sack? Yeah, wow, a strip sack. Dallas scores another 53 to 19. Jeez. Lou Gehrig to 150 and Chris Bryant. There's a Wander Franco rookie card for the Rays. That'll be for Matthew. Matthew Linder with the Rays. We've got a Julio Rodriguez rookie card. That will be for... That's the, for the number block team, so that'll be a randomizer. And here is Tom Glavin, archival autograph for the Braves. 22 out of 125, Ed P. Picked up the Braves straight up. There you go, Ed.
Alex Bregman, Jose Altuve, dual relic, 29 out of 35 for Jeffrey and the Astros. <laughs> Should we allow the NFL to be like the NHL? Uh, the NHL do police their own, but I think they have a better track record of doing it because it's been part of the culture for like decades, right? I think if you just like, if you just opened it up and said, all right, it's a free for all, I think it'd be chaos. Actually, let's save this one. I don't know what that is behind Arenado, but behind uh, Joe Ryan is a dual relic, Tom Glab, and this time Mets edition, 17 out of 25. And that will be for Greg, the Mets. Speaking of hockey players. And behind Nolan Arenado is, wow, four out of five. Vlad Guerrero Sr. Bat Barrel. Autographed Bat Barrel. Autographed Jumbo Lumber Bat Relic Card. Woo! Of course, Expo stuff goes to the Nationals, and that's for Juan Escabi Pena. Obi-Wan. If you ever see him in the chat. That's a beaut. Juan, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. That's pretty good penmanship on, on, the, on the lumber, too. Yeah, they got to start putting senior on these now. All right, nice. That's, that's been marinating in there for a little bit. All right, another box. Second half in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check it out. Get your team straight up. That's right, yeah. I pulled that uh, McGuire lumber out of Tier 1. Just lumbering along, Rex. That's all. No big deal. You know, good things happen when you fill breaks, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a chance to pull stuff like this. Get the next half going, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Might have a bat knob on the other half. Could be a hot case. Do they do bat knobs in museum collection? They got to, right? Another touchdown for Dallas. Wow. It's a route. And I think they pulled Dak from the game too. Yeah, it's Cooper Rush out there. The big unit, Randy Johnson, 86 out of 150, Diamondbacks edition. Yeah, and like you were saying earlier, Terry, it was like, it was like, uh, you know, everyone thought the Colts, I, I thought it too. I thought the Colts were just a quarterback away. Oh, and that's a uh, artist proof right here, Shoei Otani. Those might fall one per case. That'll be for the Angels. It's a number block team. This is not numbered, so this is part of the non-number block group. We'll use that. And there is that Julio Rodriguez there, too. We'll use that to represent the non-numbered cards. All right. Ozzie Smith, Barry Larkin. One is a Cardinal. That's for Matthew. And one is no, uh, Red. That's going to be Barry. So that'll be a randomizer at the end between those two teams. 
Behind Mookie Betts is Triple Relic and Autograph, Patrick Wisdom. This wise hit going to Eric and the Cubbies. 224 out of 399. And Giancarlo Stanton. Nice quad relic. 29 out of 75 for Chad Cromwell and the Yankees. But yeah, looking like, I guess, Matt Ryan. Is that, how long is con Is it just a year long contract? Is it two? All right, halfway through this half case break. Another three boxes to go. I mean, they got a couple decent receivers. They also have Jonathan Taylor, the Colts. I feel like, I don't know. I don't know too much about their offensive line. Are they any good? I mean, that, that, could, that could be a huge reason. Maybe any quarterback behind that offensive line, maybe not. But they got Jonathan Taylor. That's enough to balance out a, kind of balance things out a little bit, you would think. Their defense should be a little bit better, but they might be losing some, might not have some key pieces there. Coaching change in the middle of the season, that can't always be good. They got, they got to figure things out. I mean, no, no way Jeff Saturday is the head coach next year, right? That was a team. And well, then you got to think, maybe... Maybe it wasn't, was it uh, Carson Wentz's fault last year? Maybe this team was always not very good. He probably won't be head coach next year. I think they're going to, at this point, they're probably just going to let it ride, right? Jeff Saturday will, will lead the Colts to a, a good draft position. There's a Juan Soto to 50, two out of 50 for Juan for Juan. Who bought the uh, Nationals straight up. Here's a dual relic and autograph, Austin Meadows. For Matthew Linder in the Rays. 261 out of 399. There's 68 out of 75. Quad relic. Two color quad relic for Jonathan and the Boston Red Sox. Derek Jeter, piece of his jersey, 6 out of 50. Look at Jeff Saturday, Rex is saying. Tell me he doesn't look like a cross between Russell Crowe and Tom Hanks. I can definitely see Russell Crowe. I don't see Tom Hanks, though. Yankees relic for Chad. And Ken Griffey Jr. reveals an Eddie Murray. 2 out of 25. I know, uh, I know Terry was looking for a different old-school uh, Oriole. Eddie Murray's pretty solid, too, though. Yeah, nice, says Terry. Loves, loves Eddie Murray. Yeah, did you used to bug uh, Eddie Murray after uh, after Dodger game? Would you wait for him in the uh, the parking lot? You have like twenty baseball signed by. Hey, at least he's signing. Haven't I seen you guys before? No, Mr. Murray, definitely not. Oh, 
Oh, he started with you guys again. I don't know. Maybe you should have reminded him. Hey, it's better than no guys. But he was very nice and would stay until everyone got autos. Second to last box, the penultimate. Got a Wander Franco rookie card. That is for Matthew. And we got a Jared Walsh two color dual relic and autograph for the Halos. That's going to be. That's a random number block team, so let's see where this goes. I don't know, that's a, I don't know why that other top right here seems to be cut at a different size. 91 out of 399. So that's Angels 1. And that'll be for Mark, Mark S. Giancarlo Stanton reveals a Walker Bueller. Get well soon, Walker. 40 out of 60. I'm a man. I'm 40. Goes to Ed P. And my Dodgers. And we got Teoscar Hernandez. Blue Jays edition. 34 out of 35. And Toronto Blue Jays are a number block team. So that'll go to Toronto 4, 34 out of 35. Mark S with the number 4. And behind Luis Robert is A's edition, Matt Olson, 40 out of 50. That's also a number block team. That's also for Mark. Oh, Dallas, do you see? I don't know if you, anyone's still watching the NBC broadcast, but you just flashed a stat where Dallas has scored 199 points in the last five games, which is a franchise record. All right, final box. Second half in the store, pick your team eight. Pick your team eight. No filler yet. I'm hoping that we can get that closer to single digits before, before we pop that into a filler. It's the first NFL scorigami of the season. I think it might have been you, right, Rebel, that turned me on to scorigami? Or at least refresh my memory on scorigami. I totally forgot that that was a thing. It's a great website that tracks unique, well, that tracks all scores in the NFL. And so here's a Cal Ripken, by the way. Yeah, it was. And, um,. So it's a great, I think it's scorigami.com or just Google scorigami and it'll take you to it. But uh, 
So then, obviously, the scores that are left, so it'll it'll go zero through whatever, and then on the different axes, you'll see it. Go look at it, and then you can see um, what scores have never been hit before. Here's Tory Hunter, 97 out of 125. That's for Steven. There's uh, Juan Soto. Ooh, that's a one of one. A one of one dual relic, Cal Ripken Jr. and Ryan Mountcastle, past and present. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Terry with the Orioles. Last spot mojo. Terry. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Some nice color there. These are all game used. Dual meaningful material relic card. I like it. All right, back here is Whit Merrifield. Cool Whit. Five out of 25 for the Royals. Royals are a number block team that'll go to Kansas City Five. That'll be for Mark. And the last one behind Corey Seager is the Polar Bear. Pete Alonzo, Triple Relic, and Autograph. Pieces of lumber in there, too. Greg with the Mets. 85 out of 150, Greg. Nice way to finish it. Nice half case. Could be a hot case. Second half should be pretty nice as well. All right, let's do a couple randomizing here. First of all, there's some new dice. The first dice roll will be uh, who's going to get those non-numbered cards. So let's go to the number block group and gather these names here. That'll be the first dice roll. Second dice roll will be between St. Louis, Ozzie Smith, and Barry Lark in Cincinnati. Team on top will get it. One happy person, one sad person. We're going to randomize both of those two and a four six times. One. Two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. Yeah, Mark had the odds on his side. After six, Mark, you're going to get any and all non-numbered cards, which will include that Shoei Otani art, artist proof, some rookie cards for uh, that Julio Rodriguez rookie cards, among other non-numbered cards for that group of 10 teams that we saw on the previous screen right there, right over here. All right, two and a four, six times. Or the for those 10 teams right there. Two and a four, six times for those, that dual relic. One, two, three, four, five, and six. St. Louis will get that one after six. That'll be for Matthew Wood. There you go, Matt. I don't know if I called your number too often in this break, but you do get this dual relic. Apologies to Barry and the Reds. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you, uh, I don't know, maybe tonight, tomorrow night for uh, the second half of this museum collection case. Bye-bye.